Hi boys and girls, I'm Ryan Cruzy, and today on Cruzy Originals, I'm going to be fucking with a truck. Hey, so anyways, today I gotta get my truck back on the road because we sold the hot rod and that's what I've been driving around because I turned my daily truck into pretty much race truck and it's not really drivable. So I'm trying to get it all done. I'm gonna finish the bumper, I'm gonna tube in the bed sides and I'm gonna redo the turbo manifold all the way back to the back of the truck today. And it's fucking noon already. So we're doing it with an iPhone, we're filming. I'm gonna edit this. Jake's out on a little vacation after doing a two-week show, and uh, we're going to make the best out of it. lights in right here. I made most of this bumper already, and it's just been kind of half-assed done like most of my truck. Now I'm going to cap this, smooth it all out, do the other side, and then I'm going to move on to the fenders. Trent's going to film me a little bit. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. One side is all boxed in and angled. This angle right here matches up to where my bed sides meet up. Hopefully, as long as my measurements are right, they will. So then the bumper will stick out and then it'll cut back right into the bed sides. And then some fancy lights there. By fancy, I mean Amazon, 20 bucks, but they're pretty bright. So now I just gotta do the other side. Problem with the other side is, is I don't really have a fucking material. So I'm gonna dig around, try and find that. I'm gonna do the other side real quick, get that knocked out, and then we're gonna move on to the shackles. I got some Missoula fancy long travel shackles. It's supposed to give me a lot more better range of motion. I don't know that much about it, but it's gonna lower the truck a little bit in the back, which I don't want, because it's already hard to see over the hood. I have the truck level right now. It's gonna give it that pre-runner squat, which that looks cool, but that sucks to drive, honestly, especially when you're coming up over like a fucking hill and you can't see nothing but hood. So I'm not stoked about that, but I do need a little more travel in the back and my shackles are fucking toast. So um, Tyler Davenport over at CarTech, he hooks up all of our stuff, go hit him up. He's the dude, he's the one that comes through with all my off-road shit on my truck. I just got those uh, fucking shackles from him. He shipped them right out next day type shit. So anyways, I'm gonna move on to their side and then I'm gonna have old uh, Beefcake sand this thing down. We're gonna paint it here at the shop, just whoosh, some duplicolor enamel on it real quick, real tough takes a beating. I don't want to wait for it to get powder coated, which ain't gonna happen because my front bumper's welded on and that's not gonna match anyway. So I also need to finish my front bumper. Son of a bitch, that's a whole nother scenario right there. God damn it, right, too many things to do. Anyways, moving on.
six o'clock at night. The shackles are in. The line for the filler neck for the fuel tank is done. Uh, the rear bumper is done. My reverse lights are not wired up because somebody who unhooked them doesn't remember them being wired up. Doesn't know where they go. Uh, I can't find any of that wiring, so that's another adventure. Whew, fucking tired. Now I gotta cut the beds and build the bed supports before I can go home. All right, so it's the next day. I totally forgot about doing this video thing, so I just am now picking up on it, but the truck's pretty much done. Also just been working my ass off because I need a vehicle just driving around on a motorcycle in the summer sucks. But uh, fenders are done. Tailgate's on, bumper's made. Exhaust and that shit still needs to be redone. But I'm pretty stoked. She's running good and looking good. And uh, I'll give you a little peek. boosted 4.8 got a pretty solid mid travel kit on it Deaver's in the rear Missoula shackles King reservoirs 3.0s uh, 3.0s in the front long travel with uh, dirty B mid travel arms CST spindles whole bunch of fancy turbo shit in there it's got a built 4L80 tranny with uh, circle D two stage 3000 stall custom built drive shaft 456 gears with a Detroit locker. She rips. And it's got a race wheel. So like, subscribe, stay posted, check out the other shit. Cruzy Originals. Peace.